Hey y'all, today let's make some fried chicken nuggets. So the chicken I'm gonna be using for these chicken nuggets is thinly sliced chicken breast fillets. I like using the thinly sliced fillets just because they fry up quicker and they're easier to work with. So what I'm gonna do first is before I cut my fillets into nuggets, I'm going to trim off any extra fat that is on there or any of the tendon that might still be on the chicken. So once I've finished cutting off the pieces that I don't want, I'm going to now begin to cut them into bite-sized pieces. And the size of my pieces are about the size of Chick-fil-A's chicken nuggets. As I cut my chicken nuggets, I'm adding them to a dish because I'm going to be soaking these nuggets in buttermilk. Before I soak the nuggets in buttermilk, I'm actually going to coat them with some salt and pepper. Now, salt and pepper is to taste, so you just decide how much you want to put on your chicken. I used about a half a teaspoon of pepper and about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now, I'm not putting a ton of salt on the chicken yet because the flour I'm gonna be using, which is self-rising flour, already contains salt. And I'm gonna be adding more salt to the flour when I season it. One more thing I'm gonna to add to the chicken. Now this is optional, but it's accent. And accent is just supposed to help bring out more of the flavor of your food. My husband wanted me to use the accent on the chicken, so I did, but you don't have to. <laughs> so after my nuggets have been seasoned, I'm just gonna give everything a good toss and make sure all the pieces are coated. And now I'm going to add buttermilk. And I'm using 1% buttermilk because that's all our grocery store had at the time, but feel free to use full fat buttermilk. It's your choice. Now I'm going to pour the buttermilk in with the chicken nuggets and my chicken nuggets are going to be swimming in the buttermilk. <laughs> Now I'm going to take some plastic wrap and I'm gonna cover the chicken and then I'm gonna stick it into the refrigerator. And y'all, I'm gonna be letting the chicken nuggets marinate for quite a while. The time that I started this was about 9.30 in the morning and I actually don't need the chicken nuggets until around 3.30. So they're gonna be marinating for quite a while. If you're gonna marinate your chicken in buttermilk, it's good to do it for at least an hour. All right, my chicken is done marinating, so now I'm going to get my flour ready to go. So I'm gonna use three cups of White Lily self-rising flour, but you feel free to use whatever flour you prefer. I'm using three cups. Now three cups did end up being a little bit too much, but that's okay, I would rather have more than enough when it comes to battering the chicken. Now I'm going to season the flour and I'm going to use three good pinches of pepper, three good pinches of salt, and several shakes of paprika. Now paprika to me doesn't really add any extra flavor, but it will add some color to the chicken. Now I'm going to give everything a good mix and after I mix it well, I'm actually going to take a small pinch of the flour and taste it because I want to make sure that the seasoning is right. All right, to me, the seasoning was just right. So I'm going to take the chicken now out of the buttermilk and place it into the flour. Wow. 
But once I flour them, I'm gonna take them out and put them on a plate. Now, what you'll wanna do, hi, Millie, <laughs> is once you put your chicken on the plate, let them marinate in the flour, if you wanna call it marinating in the flour. You want the flour to become wet on the chicken because what this will help do is it will allow the flour to stick to the chicken while it's frying and it'll also help your chicken get crispy. So I'm just gonna let the chicken marinate in the flour just until my oil is heated up and ready to go. So the oil that I use to fry chicken is just vegetable oil and I'm gonna fill this pot up halfway. Now please excuse the look of the pot, but this is our frying pot and it's the one we use all the time. So I'm gonna use a thermometer to keep an eye on the temperature because y'all, I've tried to fry chicken without using a thermometer and sometimes the oil is way too hot and my chicken burns on the outside before it's done on the inside or it's not hot enough and the chicken just soaks in all that oil and it's not appetizing. So I'm gonna use a thermometer and I want my oil to be at 350 degrees. So my oil is now at 350 degrees and I'm gonna use this tool called a pigtail to actually grab the chicken or stab the chicken and place it into the pot. Y'all, this pigtail is a neat little tool. It just makes it easier to pick up meat. And because it has a long handle, it keeps your hands and arms away from hot oil. So I'm just placing a few of the chicken nuggets in the oil at a time. And because they're thin, these did not take long to cook at all. I am guessing about a minute and a half to two minutes. Y'all, honestly, I didn't pay attention to the time. I just paid attention to how the chicken looked. And once I saw that it had a nice golden color, that's when I took the chicken out of the oil. Once the chicken is done, I'm gonna place it on a cooling rack so that any excess oil can drip off. Plus, this will help the chicken stay crispy instead of getting soggy if you were to just put it on a plate and pile it all together. Now, because this chicken fries quickly, y'all, the inside, is super moist and the outside has a nice crunch to it. I really feel like if you make your chicken this way, you won't be disappointed. All right, y'all, that's it. That's how I make my fried chicken nuggets. I hope you give this simple and easy recipe a try and let me know what you think. All right, y'all, see you in the next video. Bye.